Hey guys, day 22. We'll continue on with, how big is it? Biggest ever. A blue whale. The largest mammal on earth is the blue whale and it can grow to 100 feet long, bigger than any dinosaur. A blue whale can weigh 150 tons. Its tongue weighs as much as an entire elephant. This scuba diver is five feet tall. The biggest blue whale is as long as 20 scuba divers. The scuba diver might have a cheeseburger for lunch. The blue whale eats 4,000 pounds of krill every day. Krill are teeny tiny shrimp. It's a lot of food. It's a very big whale, but it lives in the ocean. So even though it's big, the ocean holds it up and it doesn't feel so big. It floats and swims. Very, very big. I found my mathematician book and we talked about a couple people already. Thalius and the other person. Oh, Pythagoras. Now we're going to talk about Archimedes. And if you've watched the Disney movie, The Sword and the Stone, Merlin's owl is named Archimedes. It's after this mathematician. Archimedes lived about 300 years before Jesus. And he was the greatest mathematician of the ancient times. He made many original contributions to geometry and laid the foundation for integral calculus. His inventions include the catapult, and the Archimedes screw. Maybe you guys will build a catapult. You guys could build a catapult out at the farm and launch things like pumpkins and other fun things. All right, we've been talking a little bit about a bank. So a bank is where you can go put your money. Now, some of us now use an online bank and you don't actually have to go to the bank to do anything. The bank is out in the middle of nowhere on a computer someplace. And that works too. Grandma banks at the credit union, but then I had to use a bank bank to do all the stuff when great grandma died. So are all the banks the same? No, there are different kinds of banks in America. There are commercial banks, and this type of bank deals with people and businesses, and they offer services like checking and savings and loans. Commercial banks are owned by their stockholders, and the profits go to them if the bank pays dividends. There are thrift banks and savings and loan and credit unions, and they're, they're similar. Um, these mostly provide mortgages so people can buy homes, and most savings and loan and credit union and thrifts used to be owned by the depositors, and the profits were shared among them. But banking is changing, and the commercial banks, savings, and loan, and thrifts are becoming more alike. Investment banks are not really banks. They are firms that give investment advice, and they also buy and sell stocks and bonds from companies and government agencies, and sell smaller quantities of them to investors and individuals as a profit. Investment banks may not accept deposits or make loans. The Central Bank of the United States is called the Federal Reserve System, and the Federal Reserve system includes the 12 regional banks. And those are the ones we kind of talked about when we were making money and printing money. All right. We've been measuring things. We talked about inches and feet and yards and miles. And then I said there's the metric system. So when you look at the tiny pieces of candy, like a Reese's piece or an M&M, an M&M is smaller than an inch. So here's an M&M and here's my thumb. And I could put about two or three M&Ms on my thumb. An M&M is more the size of the metric unit of a centimeter. And there are 10 centimeters. It's based of 10. 
in most countries outside the United States. People don't use inches, feet, or yards, or miles. They use a different system of measurement. It's called the metric system, which uses different units. And if you can count to 10, you can figure it out pretty easy. Here is a centimeter. It's not very big. A centimeter is the same length anywhere in the world. It's about the width of one Reese's Pieces or one Hershey's candy. 10 centimeters is called a decimeter. And if we put 100 centimeters together, we make a meter. And a meter is just a little bit longer than a yard. And if we put many meters together, we get a kilometer. Kilo. How many kilos is there in your house to school? How, it's about how many miles? Do you walk or take the bus? 100 centimeters is a meter, and 10 decimeters is also a meter, and 1,000 meters is a kilometer. So it's spelled based on groups of tens, or 100s, or 1,000s, groups of 10. It's pretty easy, but Americans are so used to their system that we've never switched, even though we've tried. And if you go get a bottle of soda, it often comes in a liter package or a two liter package where milk still comes in a gallon. Whoa, that is a big pile of Reese's Pieces. It's enough measuring length and distance. How about weight? What weighs more, a ton of Reese's peanut butter cups or a ton of feathers? Well, Reese's pieces are heavier than feathers. But a ton is the same no matter how big the box. A ton of feathers would be a much bigger box than a ton of Reese's pieces. But they would both weigh the same, even though they're different sizes. Because weight is not about how big, it's about how much. That's a thought. So a ton of Reese's Pieces and a ton of feathers weighs the same. But in my mind, I'm going, but feathers don't weigh as much. No, but if I pile a big pile of them together until it reaches a ton, even though the box is bigger, it still weighs the same. Not about the size. It's about how heavy. And well, different things in a pile can be different sizes and still weigh the same. I think you're going to like this story today. Uh, Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Frank Reimkowitz. He may have done one of the other books. Seaweed soup. I see a turtle and a crab and a big cauldron of maybe seaweed soup. I don't know if I've had seaweed soup. I've had seaweed before. Seaweed soup. And this is going to talk to us about matching things. Turtle. He's got his little sailor hat on. Let's see what Turtle's going to do. One day, Turtle decided to make seaweed soup. He stirred and he stirred until it was perfect. Thick and green and gooey and slimy. Turtle couldn't wait to have lunch. That doesn't sound very tasty to me. He put four things on the table. A bright red cup for gooseberry juice, a great big spoon, a napkin, and one of his nicest bowls. So he set the table. I wonder if he's going to invite some friends to lunch. Looks like he's got some extra chairs. What's he using for chairs? Tree trunks have been cut in half. Oh, there's his friend Crab. Turtle was just about to fill his bowl when his friend Crab came along. Would you like to join me for lunch? asked Turtle. I just made a pot of seaweed soup. Ugh, thought Crab. It's green, it's slimy, and it's smelly. But how can I say no to a friend? So crab didn't think it sounded very tasty. That's because turtles and crabs tend to like different kinds of food. They're built to eat different things. 
I guess so, said Crab. Take a place and I'll get another cup, spoon, napkin, and bowl for myself, said Turtle. He had three of the things he needed to make a complete set, but he couldn't find another cup. Well, this glass will have to do, he said. Do a cup and a glass do the same thing? It may not be a perfect match, but a glass and a cup will both hold liquid for us to drink out of. So it still works as the same kind of thing, even if it doesn't look exactly the same. Who's coming in next? He's got two bird friends coming. Turtle came back to the table with a glass instead of a cup, another big spoon, another napkin, another nice bowl. He was about to pour the gooseberry juice when Sandpiper and Seagull came flapping along. There's a pile of something icky next to Turtle's table, piped Sandpiper. It smells awful, squawked Seagull. Hurry and fly away before he sees us. But Turtle spotted the meal at, Come and join us for lunch! Well, okay, piped Sandpiper, and she and Seagull flew down and sat down. Turtle said, Plenty, you can take my place. The other can sit right here while I look for two more complete sets of everything. So what's he need? Something to pour the gooseberry juice in, a bowl to put the soup in, a spoon, and a napkin. There are four things to the set. Turtle looked all around. There was one glass left, but it didn't match. The only bowls left were cracked, and there was usually only one more spoon. Well, these will have to do. After filling the yellow cup in his jelly jar with gooseberry juice and the two cracked bowls with soup, Turtle finally sat down, but just then Clam poked her head out of his hand. Well, that like smell disgusting, she thought, and she started to dip back down. Turtle hollered, oh, please have lunch with us, Clam. There's plenty of seaweed soup. Clam thought it would be mean to say no. I suppose I can, she gurgled. Here, take my place, said Turtle, and he looked for another set, but there was nothing left, not a cup or a glass or even a jelly jar or not a spoon, a napkin, or a bowl of any kind. What's he going to do? While Turtle's gone, Crab said, I guess we better try the soup. Disgusting and slimy, complained Sandpaper. And smelly and gooey, added Seagull. Clem just shut her eyes and took a little spoonful. Hey, look at their faces. Do their, are their faces going like they don't like it? Are they... It tastes great, she gurgled so eyes and said Purple tried. Yummy, she piped. Delicious, squawked Seagull. Amazing, said Crab. They sipped and they slurped until the entire pot of seaweed soup was gone. What's Turtle going to eat if it's all gone? Finally, Turtle came back to the table carrying a set of four things. A big seashell for a cup a toy shovel for a spoon, a beach towel for a napkin, and a rusty old pail for a bowl. These will have to do, he said. Now let's eat that soup. What happened to the soup? His friends looked at uh, or another, another. Nobody said a word. Last time of it, I'm sorry, Turtle, but while you were gone, we, we ate all the soup up. Without a word, Turtle turned around and walked up. He's mad at us, whispered Cecil. What can we do, said Crab?
Soon Turtle came back. He was carrying another pot of soup, thick and green and gooey and slimy, and just as smelly as the first. He said, you can never make too much seaweed soup. Something to drink with, something to eat with, something to use as a napkin, something to put the soup in. It's not a perfectly matched set, but it is a set of things you can use for those problems. Even if they don't exactly match. Seaweed soup. 